Okay, super simple system for repurposing your content inside of Notion. So I'm just gonna dive right into this dashboard, uh, the home dashboard, what you have. It's only two things really, there's the primary content and then we have our publishing calendar. So I'll explain what each of those are um, when we get to those sections, but uh, the, the idea of this setup is really quite simple. The idea is you have your main primary content pieces and then we have, we wanna create a simple way to duplicate and create copies or the relevant copies of that content to go out across different channels. So let's take a quick look through what's inside of this system and hopefully you'll, you'll see how this can hopefully speed up your content repurposing effort. So tutorial, that's gonna be this video here. We have our primary content page and some content ideas by channel. So you can just brainstorm and list your primary content pieces here. Then we have the channels. So this is gonna let you select the distribution channels and prioritize and rank them uh, and add a link for your relevant dashboards in this view. It's important to click to select and unselect the channels that you actually wanna use for this system because that's gonna show up in your publishing links, your quick links for publishing to those platforms. So if you wanna use this widget, just make sure that you select the channels uh, after you've kind of thought through where you wanna be repurposing and publishing on a regular basis. We have a a database for our hashtags. You can also see how many times you've used uh, that hashtag across all the posts that you've created. Uh, we have a full master view of all of the posts and when they're scheduled to go out. And we have a quick kind of reach calculator. There's some instructions for how to use this, but it's basically uh, some simple inputs like how many channels, how, how frequently you're going to publish and what that might look like over time if you keep up these repurposing efforts. Then we get into this green section, which is the channel by channel view of um, your content. So that is where we're going to be um, dragging content into from our main content gallery here. So we can, uh, we can quickly create new channels if you want to, uh, if you want to add something to your existing repurposing efforts. We have our map, which is just going to be our databases and I kind of indicated these two widgets already. So I'm just gonna actually dive right into creating a piece of content from scratch and showing how the system works rather than kind of talking about it. So let's just start with a new piece of primary content. So this could be something like, uh, you know, how to uh, repurpose content in Notion. So this might be an article. So I'm going to click this, open it up, and I'm going to select the primary channel, which is going to be probably SEO article. That's gonna auto populate this pretty tag, which is just gonna be a bit of a nicer way of viewing things. I can also uh, link the description and some hashtags. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this SEO content template to give me some prompts. And just to be clear about what this system is for, it's not necessarily for drafting and writing the full SEO article, although you could do that in here as well. But this is more for, okay, what do I do? I have this article written, it's published on my site. Now I want to go into the repurposing stage of my content distribution. What exactly are the next steps? Next steps would be to fill out these, uh, these particular details about the article. So description for the article, uh, hashtags that you may want to include. You don't have to do that at this stage. A link to the article, this is important. Uh, the tag and channel are already filled out and then a thumbnail for this particular item. So I have, uh, I have a, an example article here that I've already created, but I just showed you how you can create a new piece of primary content. So this is, this is a recent article that we did covering our Pestel analysis, analysis template. You can see there's a description uh, the hashtags that are related to it are here. We have the thumbnail and everything. So, so this would be the core piece of content. And then what this system is really for is how do I redistribute this across multiple channels without, with, basically with as little effort as possible. So I might actually, I would have this in the ready stage and after I have uh, repurposed it, I might put it into the done category. So quickly I can also make sure that I've selected the channels that I want, so maybe I want to uh, have a YouTube video, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and maybe LinkedIn as well. Uh, I can check these channels to see if, uh, if they're all 
if they all have their own dashboard. Uh, right now they don't, so I'm gonna probably create a couple more channels uh, to, to fill out this plan. Hashtags, I don't have to add from here, I can just go directly to the, uh, the, the content views. I'm gonna resize this. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be taking that main piece of content, so it would be maybe this how to repurpose content in Notion, and we're going to be holding Alt on our keyboard and dragging it into the calendar. So now we have a duplicate copy in our blog view. If we wanted to make an Instagram post from this main primary piece of content, we could drag a copy onto the date that we want to publish it on. We could also do this for Twitter. We could add um, this to today's date. And so what this is gonna do is it's going to create a, a copy of the main details about this post. So we have the title, we have the, um, the link, the hashtags that we want to include, and any description that we've already included. But now I can kind of tailor it towards specific platforms. So this is going to be a tweet. So I can just write a little note about this. It's already listed here that it's on Twitter. Um, and so I can kind of write my Twitter caption, plan uh, what exactly I want to tweet out based on this post. The link is already here. The thumb would already be here if I had taken the time to, uh, to do so. But I would have everything that I need for this uh, post here and I can kind of tailor this item, which is in the database as a tweet, uh, to be more specific to Twitter. Then I can head over to Instagram. Uh, Instagram might have different uh, kind of ways of using hashtags, or you might want to have a larger caption or description. Uh, you probably can't really use the link, so it's not that helpful. So you can kind of tailor each post quickly now within the relevant view. And so I mentioned, Maybe I want to also do this on LinkedIn. I don't have LinkedIn listed as a channel, so I can just create a new channel with this button here. There's some instructions for how to set that up. So what I said is I'm gonna do LinkedIn. So let's rename this to be LinkedIn. I'm going to filter this channel to be LinkedIn only posts. And now when I drag things into this calendar, I'm gonna remove this instructions tab. When I drag posts into the calendar, they're automatically going to be sorted into the LinkedIn channel. So once again, I'm gonna drag this pastel analysis in here. I don't think I was holding Alt down for long enough. Uh, so now we have a, a copy of our pastel analysis in here. So the, the main things to note, there's kind of a couple of things to be aware of that might be new for you. The first thing is the, uh, creating a copy of your primary content and just, you know, you can include as much, as little or as much of the content itself. Just make sure you fill out the properties that are relevant for this particular piece. And then the, the next notion skill that will be helpful for this to really work is to hold down alt as you drag things to the calendar, because that is how you'll create a, a copy of that item. So if I just drag this in, it's actually gonna move from this gallery into uh, this particular, uh, this, this publishing gallery, which we don't want. So you just need to hold down Alt on your keyboard and it will create a copy for you. And because we're dragging it into this filtered calendar, it's automatically gonna be an Instagram post and we can, we can treat it accordingly. So that is the, uh, the kind of creating and repurposing stages. And then once you are uh, once you're kind of ready or you're happy with each post in each view, uh, you can just kind of use these publishing links to quickly uh, maybe open up a new tab. So I'll hit this LinkedIn post, I would head over to my LinkedIn calendar view. Maybe this is due for today. And then I could just copy over this post and put it into uh, LinkedIn and publish like that. So this way it's nice because at least we have a copy in our Notion database that is not just this like annoying list of, um, you know, blog posts. So what is it? Pestle analysis, blog post, pestle analysis, tweet, pestle analysis, LinkedIn post. I personally, I don't do that um, because it's, it's such a hassle. So I've kind of created this content repurposing system just to make it a bit easier to create specific items for each post. And then I can aggregate some things like hashtags and I can uh, keep track of it all in one view. So hopefully this is simple and helps you 
publish more content and uh, help your business grow or whatever your goal is, uh, you can duplicate it with the link. I believe this is a pro access member template. So if you sign up for pro, you can start using this template. Thanks and enjoy.